In this video for the final section of this topic, we're going to be looking at inserting shapes, playing with shapes, editing shapes, and grouping shapes. So to insert a shape, come to our insert tab, we select our shapes button, and we can see our recently used lines, rectangles, basic shapes, block arrows. Every shape has a name like always. For example, this one here is a smiley face, the sun, the moon, cloud okay but i'm going to show you just something quick and easy so i'm going to do the start of a traffic light or a robot so i'm going to create the rectangle shape i'm going to color it change all of that and then i'm going to speed the video up for the rest of it so we can show you how to do everything else so to start off we select our rectangle shape i click and hold the mouse drag until i've got my rectangle shape which should be about there okay now, as it comes through, our box is automatically blue with a dark blue line. So up here, we have different theme styles that we can go ahead and choose, which are pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. All right, but they don't fit our need. So what we do is we come here, we create our shape fill. Then I'm going to go down here to white, background one, dark at 25%. Okay, it's starting to kind of look like a robot and not quite. Okay, it depends on where you come from. Some robots are gray, some are black. Uh, let's go all the way down here. White, background darker, 50%. There we go. We're starting to form a shape here. Okay, let's go back to format. Shape outline, we're going to select the same. Okay, so basically we've just created or changed the shape full and the shape outline. All right, here I'm going to speed the video up. I'm going to insert the various lights quickly. Okay, there we go. We got our robot with the stop, yield, and our go lights. So here's one of the things about shapes and dealing with shapes. I want to resize this. And normally we go, okay, well, there we go. We've resized that. Uh, Okay, got to resize this. It becomes clumsy and time consuming, and you can easily make a mistake. So let's put everything back. So what we do is we're going to group these images. So what we have to do is we have to take our mouse, pressing the control key on our keyboard in shape. So we go and select the red light. Now you can see both the images are selected the yellow light and the green light. We can see all four images are selected. So to group an image, we can do it in one of two ways. We can now right click and we can go to our group option. Okay, there we go. Everything has become one. And as we scale one up, they all scale up simultaneously. Okay, that is one way to group the images. Or we could have gone to format. Under the arrangement, we can select group. And we can group it that way or we can ungroup it if we want to change something specific so let's quickly have a look under the rest of the drawing tools options we've got our sizing options we can rotate our images all right let's just move this up here quickly back to our working doc our original document okay oh that that doesn't look good because like now this is covering everything so under format, we can go to wrap text and we can move everything around. So create a square. So it pushes the everything that was underneath the image to the side. Closer. All right, we can put a, the image behind the text. So that is how you use the wrap text option. Okay, let's just take that back down onto the next page again. All right. One of the other things we can look at is our shape effects. We can create a little bit of a reflection. Let's go half reflection, four point offset. There we go. It's like, it looks like it's kind of being reflected in a mirror. All right. We can add a bit of a cool little glow to it. Let's have a look at that. There we go. No, that doesn't look that impressive. Shape effects. And you can go ahead and continue playing with the shapes. No, that doesn't look cool. Let's have a look. I do like these beveled options, if I must say so myself. Okay. 
and see what else we can 3D rotation. There we go. This is our shapes, inserting shapes, and editing and playing with shapes.